Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd please remain standing for the Australian National Anthem. Hey, how good is this? How good is Sydney Opera House? Look at this wonderful day. Look at this wonderful place. Where could you find a better location to celebrate your graduation than this? And even the board turned on this great weather for you. Come on. How good is that? Um, so let's get started. Members of the GCA board, the UBSS Academic Senate members, faculty, academic support staff, our admissions team, and our agent network. Um, I'd like to welcome all of you here today to the Universal Business School Sydney graduation ceremony for the class of 2020. My name is Jared Newcomb. I'm a member of the GCA board, and I'm the HR and marketing director for GCA. Um, today, also, I'm your master of ceremonies for this event. I would like to welcome family, friends, parents who have come to the graduation ceremony from far and wide. Um, and most of all, I'd like to welcome our students, you, the graduates. This is what we're here for. Give yourself a round of applause. Come on. Okay, in the ceremony today, there are 226 eligible students uh, for graduation. 69 of them are here with us today. Um, accordingly, we wish all graduating students best wishes and good luck in their future endeavours. I would also like to welcome our friends and family from around the world um, who are able to watch this event being streamlined uh, through UBSS YouTube station, GCA TV. Uh, we had a morning session this morning and we had some 50 or 60 families from all over the world watching the students uh, graduate. It was literally wonderful and I'm sure and hopefully some of your families are watching. We currently have 36 countries represented in residence at UBSS, at UBSS. So we believe this event in future trimesters will, and years to come, will be watched by many people um, all over the world. Uh, as you know, with COVID, it's very difficult for people to travel um, under the restrictions that we have. And so with the wonders of technology, we are able to show families and friends this very ceremony that you guys are sitting here doing today. Today's not just a graduation ceremony though, 
Uh, um, it symbolizes a point in your life of some of you will now begin to enter, succe- uh, um, hopefully successful, but enter uh, um, professional development and employment. You will start going out working in the workforce. Um, others of you may choose to further your studies and we invite you to stay as part of the UBS family should you choose to enter into postgraduate study uh, further. Um, Whether you are remaining in Australia, going back home or moving to another country for work or for study, whatever path you choose from this day onwards, this event, what you have achieved today, achieved, will be the guarding light that helps you achieve future goals. It gives you confidence. It gives you standing. It gives you a sense of starting. Um, All of us hope here today recognise how important today is for you guys. One, that's why we chose this venue uh, for your graduation. Um, The Sydney Opera House is truly an icon of Australia and is noticed worldwide. I travel everywhere for GCA, uh, um, um, developing our agent network, and wherever I go, families and friends say to me, oh, wow, you had your your, um, graduation ceremony at the Opera House. And I said, yes, we did. And the students all really enjoyed it. Now it's your turn to enjoy it. So make sure we've got plenty of photos. These people like, might look old and miserable, but they're really quite friendly. Um, and, and, and they love taking pictures. They really do. They really like it. And so what we will do is feel free to come up um, and ask us wherever you are to take p- pictures with you. Um, after the ceremony, we have a traditional thing, which is called the hat throwing uh, um, photo, where you ga- gather outside and where are you, Ian? Ian's here, who's uh, been with us for many, many years, and he's an expert of taking pictures of you with the Harbour Bridge behind you and looking fantastic to show to all of your family. Let Ian do his fantastic work, and when we leave out there, give Ian a round of applause. He's amazing. Mm. And so when we finish here, um, Madalena will ask you to gather outside um, for the big photograph with the hats and then uh, Ian and the rest of the team and all of us will be only too pleased to take individual photos with you. So don't be shy, okay? Um, I would firstly like to formally welcome members of the senior management of GCA and UBSS. Firstly, uh, Alan Manley who is the chair of the um, uh, GCA board and CEO of of GCA. Uh, Professor Alex, uh, Alex, I was going to call you Alex, Andrew. Um, Andrew West, who is the dean of UBSS. Associate Professor Felix Stravens, who is deputy dean academic. Associate Professor Wayne Smithson, who is our program director of accounting. Emeritus Professor, the famous one and only Greg Waitley. Uh, don't you love his little hat? I think that really looks nice, don't you think? Um, and he is the Deputy Vice-Chancellor. I'd also like to welcome um, Mr Alan Finch and Mr Paul Nicolau, who are also fellow members of the GCA board. I now invite our uh, CEO, Mr Alan Manley, to confer the degrees on the graduates. Alan? Thank you, Sir Gerard. I'm known as Head Grump, seemingly. So thank you for that, Gerard. This is the good part of the evening. No, yeah, it is the evening. I declare the UBSS 16th graduation ceremony officially open. The setting of Sydney Opera House is ideal for such a celebration. I think you heard Gerard say that, take photos. And in many ways highlights the importance and the significance of the event in your academic life. Would graduates please stand? Up guys, this is it, it's a serious bit. Just think how many years you've waited for me to say this. You didn't even know I existed. Here am I, this is the bit that counts. On behalf of the UBSS Academic Senate and the Group Colleges Australia Board of Directors, I admit you to the, to the degrees to which you are qualified. And for those who are unable to be present today, I admit them to the degrees to which they are qualified in absentia. Graduates, please be seated. Thank you. 
Okay, guys, the graduates, the procedure from now on will be that I will call the names of the individual uh, students graduating. Um, when your name is called out, would you please come to the stage where Deputy Dean and Program Director of Bachelor of Business, Associate Professor Felix Stravens, will present the Bachelor of Business Program Awards. And Program Director of Bachelor of Accounting, Associate Professor Wayne Smithson, um, will uh, present the Bachelor of Accounting Program Awards. Once you have received your documents, don't forget you have to take a picture, so you stand here, look really nice, and smile big, okay? Um, and then you will, once you have received it, you will have your photo taken, proceed across the stage, down the stairs, and back to your seat. What we'd like to do now is start the ball rolling, and I will call upon Deputy Dean Associate Professor Felix Stravens to assist with the presentation and distribution of the testaments. Everybody all ready? Yes? Okay, the first student I'd like to call for uh, to come to the stage is Ali Raza. Mm -hmm. Ali, congratulations. Um, and pass on the field. One other thing before we go on, ladies and gentlemen, normally when you come to the stage, we shake your hand and congratulate you. Unfortunately, during the wonderful times of COVID-19, we're not allowed to do that. So we will be bowing, saying, uh, um, congratulating you, and um, Felix will adjust the tassel on your motor board um, to show that you have become a graduate, okay? Okay, next student to come is Mohammed Martin. <laughs> Mohammed, congratulations. Thank you. Okay, the next graduate is uh, uh, T. Chu. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you. Mm -hmm. If I could ask Kuba Hasbir to come up, please. Congratulations. Thank you. I call Nav Navdeep Kaur. Navdeep, congratulations. Jaswinda Kangura. Jaswinda, congratulations. Munish Kamer. Munish, congratulations. Well done. You don't do. I have to do it, not you. You cannot graduate yourself. Rohit Kumar. Rohit, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thanks, 
This one's gone a bit wild, Felix. <laughs> yeah, yeah, put it in the back for yourself on the, on the right. Okay, there we go. All right. Violet Nobu. How are you, Violet? Yeah, congratulations. Nandeep Maka. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. Okay. T. Nugo. T. Congratulations, well done. Okay. Tinu Jen. Thank you. How are you? Yeah. Congratulations. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Again, T New Jen. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Well done. Traputhan Nilama. How are you, Traputhan? Congratulations. Well done. Okay. Sandra Oiki. Uh, hey, Sandra, how are you? Okay. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Okay. Congratulations. Rathan Paturi. Rathan, congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Abdul Rima. Abdul, congratulations, well done. You cannot press it yourself, okay? No, it's cheese, don't put it back. Yes, one minute, okay. Congratulations, good job. Shivali Shivali. Shivali, well done, congratulations. Metropa Singh. Metropa, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. Back one Singh. Yeah. I think 
Congratulations. Well done. Okay. Davindra Jit Singh. Congratulations, well done. Good Pret Singh. Good Pret. Congratulations, well done. Fazi Syed, Fazi, good to see you. Congratulations. No, I agree. Manipa, come up. Somebody cut. And somebody in my cup. Okay, congratulations. Thank you. That con concludes the business um, awards. Um, thank you, Associate Professor Stravin. Um, I now would like to call upon, who am I calling upon? Oh, yes. Let me see. Yep, that's all good. We have um, only to do the accounting degrees, correct? Okay. I'd like to now invite to the stage the illustrious Associate Professor, Mr. Wayne Smithson. Mohammed Aslam. Yes. I'm so <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Yeah. Finally. Congratulations, Thank Mohammed. Yeah. You ready? I've got it finally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ian's going to take a picture. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, okay. Abura Chara, thank you very much. I hope I didn't mess that up too much, my friend. Uh, congratulations. Yeah. Okay. So Richard Pudel, congratulations, well done. Okay. Okay. Next one is Mohammed Anus. Uh, Mohammed, congratulations, well done. Shivam Dingra. Shivam, congratulations. Well done. Okay. Thirteen. Three Three Valentina Gonzalez. How are you? Congratulations. Okay. Mm 
Hamad Harun. Hamad, congratulations, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Mohammed Hassan. Mohammed, congratulations, well done. Viva Henry. Viva, congratulations, well done. Uh, Karina Harashan. Hey. Hi, Karina. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. How are you? Good. Congratulations. Ali Hussein. Ali, congratulations. Well done. Vinod Kahora. Uh, Vinod, congratulations. Well done. Congratulations. Great job, Lisa. Thank you. Well done. 37, who we got? Tabina Hadakari. Hello, how are you? Congratulations, well done. Congratulations. Yeah. Your hard work. Great. Mohammed. Mohammed Kamani. Hi, Mohammed, how are you? Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, well done. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. All right. How are you going? Yeah. Good. Hard work over, eh? Ah. <laughs> ah, see. Thanks a lot. Well done. Anita Karaki. Anita, how are you? Congratulations. Well done. Yeah. Elisa Casa. Mm. Congratulations. Well done. Okay. How are you? Good. Jabran Khan. Mm. Congratulations. Well done. Mohammed Khan. Mohammed, congratulations, well done. Mohammed, how are you? You're <laughs> <That's> all good. <laughs> okay, so we're there. Three? Shobal Amsal. Shobal, how are you? Congratulations. Welcome. Congratulations. Well done. Mm -hmm. 
Billy Beth Lim. Hello, Lola. How are you? Congratulations. Well done. One more, one more, really best. <laughs> Shijana Mahendra. Uh, um. I hope I didn't mess that up too much. Okay. All hard work's over. Celebrate. Well done. Hey, I'm Mahmoud. Congratulations, well done. Thank you, congratulations. Congratulations. Jed Miata. Hey, Jed. Congratulations, well done. Mm -hmm. Amish Momin. Amish, congratulations, well done. Okay. Well done. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ty Nugent. How are you? Congratulations, well done. Okay. A new gen. Thank you. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Okay. I miss Vietnam. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you really Thank you for your all support. No problem. Okay. Let's move this. Congratulations. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, new Jen. How are you? Yes, congratulations. Congrats. Mm -hmm. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Nancy Nunsuba. Nancy, how are you? Well, congratulations, well done. Thank you okay. so much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Hard work? Yeah, worth it. Natik Pathak. Congratulations, well done. Mm -hmm. Okay, a runabout. Um, this is for you. <laughs> Congratulations. I you didn't mess up that thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Arun Saki. Arun, congratulations, well done. Like the bow tie, looks great. Thank you so much. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Over there. Mm, done. And <laughs> in front of you like that. Yeah. Thank you. 
One more. That's it. Good. <laughs> Pahan Shah. How are you, Pahan? Yeah, congratulations. Well done. Thank you. How are you? Good. Well done. Thank you, Shah. Have a good day. Samita Shatra. Pahan. Excellent. How are you? Congratulations. Good job. Fifty-nine. Shandana Shethra. Mm. Thank you, Shandana. How are you? Yeah, congratulations. Thank you so much. Congratulations. You're welcome. You did all the work, yeah? Excellent. Thank you. Manpreet Singh. Hey, Manpreet, how are you? Yeah, congratulations. Well done. Well done. Is that over? Gurinder Singh. Hey, Gurinder, how are you? Thank you. Congratulations. Well done. Ravinda Sondi. Um, Ravinda, hi. That was close, right? Yeah. 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 Congratulations, Thank my friend. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Well done. Well done. How about I do this? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Prajaya Sonny. Yeah. How are you? Uh, congratulations. Well done. Okay. Oh, wait a second. I think the young lady wants to take a picture. No, no. No, no next one. Person. Yeah? Good. Okay. Well uh, number? No. Nuru Tameng. Mm. How are you? Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye. That's perfect. Yeah, all good. All good. Thank you. Sanjila Tameng. Hey, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good luck. I hope everything goes well for you. Okay. Well done. Well done. Prashant Maga. Hey, Prashant. How are you? How are you, Kap? Uh-huh. Excellent. Well done. Congratulations. Mohammed Jahid. Mohammed. Lucky last. Yeah, good to see you. How are you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm very well, thank you. Congratulations. Well thank done. You so much. Mm -hmm. Well done. I'm very good. Work hard for this, eh? Excellent. Oh, oh. <laughs> One singer like that. <laughs> thank you so much. Well done. Congratulations. Associate Professor Smithson, thank you very much for your services. Thank you. <laughs> How about that? Everybody got their awards. There was no drama. How do you feel, guys? You feel good? I've had about a round of applause for all of you. Come on.
Yeah, that was great. What an achievement. Wow, that is truly amazing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have now presented all the degrees to those present at this ceremony. I now ask, ask would be a good word, um, <laughs> Professor Andrew West, the Dean of UBSS, to present a special award called the Dean's Award. Um, Andy, if you'd be so kind. Thank you very much, Sir Gerard. I will be presenting the award, but uh, Associate Professor Felix Dravens will have a few words. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we introduce the uh, Dean's Award uh, for Outstanding Achievement at the bachelor level. So this goes across Bachelor of Business and the Bachelor of Accounting. And um, we had to sift through a number of uh, results to find the person who deserves the Dean's Award. This is for outstanding achievement, okay? Um, now, this is the interesting bit. Huh? Uh, the, the, the person who won this award, I actually met in another college. And then she didn't like me, so she left the college. <laughs> okay? And then, yeah, I joined UBSS, you see? And she saw me again, and she almost got shocked because, you know, uh, I was coming down the stairs, and she was standing there, and she looked at me. <laughs> She said, well, no, I can't get away from this man, <laughs> all right? But, um, you know, she has performed very well. Um, in the course of her study, she's managed to achieve four credits. No, there's more to that. All right, four credits, six distinctions. Sounds good, huh? And five high distinctions. So, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, student receiving the Dean's Award for Outstanding Academic Performance, Violet Philomena Lobo. That's a great achievement, Violet, um, and I'm sure everybody here would like to congratulate you, ladies and gentlemen. We now have a bit of a tradition called an occasional address. Um, it's, it's normally done in graduation cer ceremonies as a sign of respect and also for you guys to get a chance to listen to someone who will give you a sort of realistic working man's knowledge of what you all have been through and, and, and what they've done that you can look forward to or you can emulate. Today, um, the occasional address will be given by Emeritus Professor Greg Whiteley. Now, Greg has an amazing career, a truly amazing career. I've known this man for a very many years and just listen to what his background has been. Um, Greg completed a diploma of teaching with majors in music and psychology, a Bachelor of Education with Curriculum Design and Development, a Bachelor of Music Education with a Music Education Focus, a Graduate Diploma in Education Administration with an Organisational Behaviour Focus, a Master of Education in Assessment and Evaluation, and a Doctorate in something called Virtual Pedagogy. Am I right? Um, was I close? 
I'm close. Pedagogy. Okay. And uh, um, don't ask me what that means. I actually do know what it means, but Greg will explain to you a little bit better. Um, he commenced his work in tertiary sector at the University of Tasmania in Hobart as a lecturer in music education. He then moved to Griffith University on the Gold Coast as a lecturer and senior lecturer in music education. He served as head of school in the arts and during that time managed the film and television music postgraduate awards at the university and the Queensland Conservatorium of Music, where he also served as deputy dean external relations. He, he became um, an associate professor and director of the Central Queensland Conservatorium of Music, where he co-founded with Professor Ian Boffinger, Australia's first virtual conservatorium. He also had positions of head of school arts and manager business initiatives in the Faculty of Education and Creative Arts. He took a position of general manager and professional head of school at the Australian Institute of Music. He then also had held positions of senior visiting fellow at the College of Fine Arts, University of New South Wales, and director of education and quality at the National Centre for Language Training. From Greg held the position of Senior Visiting Fellow at Wesley Institute, where he chaired the academic board and managed the Master of Music's program in Arts Management. In 2008, Greg was appointed Principal of the Australian International Conservatory of Music. He was also Consulting Chair of Arts Management at Sydney Opera House, right here, um, in association with the Australian Institute of Music. In 2011, Greg accepted the post of Deputy Dean at UWS College, uh, which was a part of the Western Sydney University. He later became Dean of that college. For seven plus years, Greg was Chair of the Academic Board at the Australian Institute of Music. Greg's teaching includes teaching pedagogy, human behaviour, organisational leadership, organisational behaviour, critical management, qualitative research, methodology and, hum and, and music history. Greg is currently, well, lucky for us, our Deputy Vice-Chancellor, researching and writing in the areas of quality management and equality. Greg retired from teaching management and leadership in October 2019. He is the author of some 280 external publications, and it advises in the areas of accreditation, quality assurance, government reporting, e-learning, and b-learning. He is currently a member of the editorial board for the International Journal of Innovation, Creativity and Change, a reviewer for the British Educational Research Journal, chair of the board of directors of the Australian Academy of Music and Performing Arts, Chair of the Academic Board of Stanford Academia in Singapore. Chair of the Academic Senate of UBSS, of course. Chair of the Academic Board of the Australian Guild of Music. He is also a Fellow of the Australian Institute of Management and a Fellow of the Australian College of Research. As you can see from Greg's background, it's just a remarkable, remarkable um, history and, and lifestyle. Um, Greg's been involved with training people, um, educating people and contributing to the community for a very, very long time. Um, uh, would you please welcome Emeritus Professor Greg Wakeley, Deputy Vice-Chancellor of GCA. The uh, introduction is longer than my talk. Uh, but the moral of the story, though, is that um, I was asked the other day by uh, a young aspiring academic uh, who said uh, her, her question was, uh, I'm not sure where to go next, you know, what job to do next. And my answer was, well, it's, the, the journey is not a straight line. 
And as you can hear from my past, uh, you know, I wasn't exactly a straight line kind of person. I ended up here, ended up there, ended up there. And that's not such a bad thing. And you shouldn't be frightened of that. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Jared, thank you for the wonderful introduction. I love graduations. And I love them for many, many reasons, but I'll, I'll share two with you. The first one is... You stand here and you're looking at a whole bunch of highly successful people. There's nothing more wonderful than being in the company of winners. So congratulations to all of you. It's an extraordinary achievement what you've done. Uh, you may not even realise what you've done yet, but you soon will. And the other reason I love graduations is because there are very few places in the world, in fact, that you can wear this and not be ridiculed. So, in the little booklet, I was enjoying reading, you all have a copy of that, um, there are some really wonderful statements being made by Alan, uh, Jared, and Andy. And if you haven't had a chance to read them, you really should, because there's the secret to success in two pages. Alan takes up the theme of the fact that, you know, what you've done is pretty remarkable, in that you have taken on a challenge that many people would not attempt. So for most of you, you've left home, and some of you have come via diploma programs and so forth, but you've left home, you've come to a foreign country, uh, and your learning and writing and reading is in a language other than your first language, which in itself is quite an achievement. And I empathise with that a bit because in my career... Um, I've had that wonderful opportunity. Uh, teaching in Singapore, for instance, they don't speak English. They speak Singlish. So I have to learn to work my way through that. Teaching in Japan, same story. It's sort of English, but it's a bit close. But in my study days, I had three very important experiences. The first one was in the UK where they actually do speak English. And I didn't. I was from Australia, so they used to ridicule me for my accent and also for some of the, the language that I used. In fact, I think my nickname was Skippy, I think. Um, the second one is I don't know what possessed me, but I did some study in Italy, in Italian. And um, it was very interesting, you know, because I thought my Italian was pretty terrific until I got to Italy and realised it wasn't very good. But uh, it was a, just a fabulous experience. And the third one is I had an experience in the, the US uh, studying and they don't speak English at all. They, they speak American, very hard to understand. So I sort of have had similar experiences to you. So what you've achieved uh, through a, a getting a world-recognised degree from one of the best schools in the country, by the way, um, you have uh, excelled. You have done something pretty remarkable uh, outside your comfort zone, and I'm telling you now, your qualification will take you lots of places. Jared takes up the point in his uh, commentary on page two, I think it is, um, page four, where he talks about the challenges of study that he knows, because Jared is a very learned guy himself, uh, that this is not an easy task that you've done, you know. Coming to Australia and playing baseball or coming to Australia and playing soccer, that's one thing. But coming to Australia and actually doing an entire degree is a pretty extraordinary achievement. And uh, all of you sitting here today have obviously done very, very well. And uh, Andy makes a very important point, and that is that um, this is just the beginning of your studies, a bachelor's degree. You may already have a diploma, perhaps, bachelor's degree. So there's sort of good news and there's bad news. So uh, I'll give you the good news first. Congratulations. You've got your degree. Now, the bad news is this is just the start. There's a lot more to come. There are master's degrees. There are doctorates. I'm hoping all of you will do your doctorate at some stage. But there's also finding your place in a workforce. There's, part, you know, learning... It doesn't only take on a formal nature, it also takes on an informal. And in many ways, that's a very formative part. I probably learnt more over my career, which is now ending, 
but uh, probably more from the experiences and the people I met more from the actual degrees that I did. But having said that, the qualifications I did made it possible for me to meet the people I met, if that makes sense. So don't be afraid to do lots of things. And remember my initial point, it's not a straight line. And if you think it is, you're mistaken. It isn't. Uh, And, you know, those of you who have now become accountants probably won't be accountants in 25 years' time. You'll be doing other things. You'll certainly take that skill set with you. And the Bachelor of Business students, it'll be interesting to see where you end up. Uh, So I'm kind of excited, you know, I'd like, uh, I probably won't be around in 20 years, by the way, but I'd love to meet you in 20 years and say, oh, what have you been doing the last 20 years, you know? And I'm pretty confident you'll say, you know, you were probably right, it wasn't really a straight line. It sort of went that way and this way and that way. Now, the final part of what I want to say is that it's... uh, traditional, it's it's part of the process, that I give you some advice, okay? Now, it's kind of ironic really because in the last three years you haven't asked me for my advice but I'm going to give it to you now and it's in three parts. The first one is to stay connected and what I mean by that is that stay, if you can, as colleagues uh, and, and classmates and so forth. But more importantly, stay connected to UBSS. Uh, Andy's sending out, I believe, this week uh, uh, about the alumni. So stay connected. That's very important for you. But also stay connected with the CPA accountants. Stay involved. Uh, IML for the business students, etc. Just stay connected. And you could probably, even though I'm totally opposed to social media, things like, what's it called, Bookface or something? Facebook, Facebook, yeah. um, you know, there are ways of connecting that haven't been available to my generation but are available to yours. And as long as you use it for good rather than evil, uh, it should be okay, I guess. Just an aside, I taught at the police academy in the Maldives for three years, you know, back and forth, back and forth. The police were obsessed with Facebook. I felt like slapping them and saying, grow up grow up but you'd go out for dinner and then the next day in class the class would say oh professor did you enjoy dinner at such and such and I'd say yeah how do you know you weren't there oh no it was on Facebook (laughs) so they'd be there sort of sending Facebook messages you know but I guess it was a way of connecting I guess I thought it was childish but anyway the second bit of advice is well it's in two parts the second and probably uh, maybe, no, I think the last one's the most important one. Work hard. That's all. Simple. If you take a job, do it. Do it hard. There's no such thing as a soft job. If you're going to take on a job, a program, a course, an occupation, just do it and do it hard. Take it on head on and you'll do very well. You will do very well. And I guess probably the most important bit of advice that I'd give you before I finish, take care of your mother. If you do that, especially the boys, you cannot go wrong. Stay focused, work hard, and take care of your mum and dad. Very important because... You're sitting here today, you know, feeling good, and so you should. But there's been a lot of stuff behind you pushing you along and they're often called your mum and dad who have sacrificed a lot of things to make it possible for you to be here at the Opera House celebrating. So don't forget them in that process. But look, to finish up, just congratulations. You've done an extraordinary job, Uh, well beyond my ability, by the way. Um, I don't think I could go and do an accounting degree in Sri Lanka. Uh, I don't think I could go and do a master's degree in uh, Israel in uh, Yiddish. And I don't think I could do my doctorate in Tokyo in Japanese. You have. That's a remarkable achievement. I'm kind of blown away. And the, uh, the other thing, should I tell you? Yes, I will. I'm incredibly jealous. And I'm jealous because you're young and you're starting. 
I'm old and I'm finishing. I wish I was starting again, but I wish I was starting again knowing what I know now because I would be a supreme winner. Maybe even the um, president of Pakistan or something like that. You know? yeah. Okay, so congratulations and thank you for listening. <laughs> Okay, our final speech today is a vote of thanks to be given by Violet, uh, the winner of the Dean's Award. Violet, would you be so kind as to come up and... Good evening to all graduates, relatives, faculty, and staff. I am Violet. This is a proud moment for me to be here standing in front of you, one of the most proud moments of my life, actually. I know the progress that I have made and continue to still make is a combination of the amazing support I've had from my staff and teachers and also from the peers around me. Now, I've always been had to handle work and study together, but my teachers knew how capable I was even when I did not believe in myself. They did not just help me not to fail in any subjects, but they really took the time to help me get started and stay on task. Again and again, they showed me the type of people they are and how much they care about helping. The reason we all, ha we all are here graduating is not only because the staff and teachers were helpful, but also we as students helped each other at some point, which made the experience a whole lot better and memorable. Special thanks to the CEO and directors for making our UBSS experience amazing and for giving us great teachers. So a big round of applause. And also an honorable mention for the reception staff and student coordinators who have always been so helpful and friendly towards us. So thank, thank you so much. <laughs> and in the end, I would like to thank all of us for finally graduating after all these years of hard work. So a big round of applause for all of us. Also in the end, I would like to say that today is an evidence that we can achieve anything in life. But let's not just be satisfied with this. Let's keep going and never stop. Thank you so much, Violet. Would everybody join with me in thanking Violet for her vote of thanks and your achievement that you have made here, Violet. Thank you. Now. That brings to, concludes the award presentations and the ceremony. Um, what we do now is that the, the academic procession will gradually leave. Then we invite you, um, our wonderful photographer Ian tells me the light is just perfect for the pictures to be out on the forecourt here with the harbour bridge in the background and you throwing your hats. Don't worry, Ian's done it a million times and he knows exactly what to say to you and, and how you've got to react. And so... At this point of time, I'd only like to say one other thing. Guess what? You've finished. You've graduated. Give yourself a round of applause. Thank you all very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed your time with us today. And it's our honour uh, to wish you the best of luck in your future endeavours. Would you now please stand for the departure of the academic procession? Thank you.